In this chapter, it talks about again the storage is expensive and one of the most expensive operation is using storage, particularly write and this is because every time you write you have to talk to many thousands of nodes across the world and keep going over time as the blockchain goes so it will cost to do that. In order to keep the cost down you have to avoid writing data so it only use data use the write if only necessary sometimes this involves efficient program logic like rebuilding an array in memory every time is called instead of simply saving an array in a variable for quick lookups in most programming language looping over the data is expensive but in solidity this is way cheaper than using storage if is in an external wheel functions since wheel function don't cause any gas and we will go over loop in the next chapter you can use the memory keyword with array to create a new array functions this array only exists until the end of the function call this is a lot cheaper than updating an array in storage and this is free if it's a real functions. So now you can see there is an example of get array and it will declare an array with a length of three and we put some values in it. And there is a note that the member array can only be created with a length argument and they cannot be resized like storage array although this may be changed until in a future version of solidity and now we go to do the test and first we have to declare a variable called result so we type uint memory result is equal to new new int and we set the new array the our, the length of the array should be however many zombies these owners owns so we use this for counting the number of arrays so we copy this and paste to here and this is the mapping that we create in the previous chapter and at the end of the function it will return the result and then we click check answer and I forgot to paste the semicolon so we can go to next chapter